Following his uh, confrontation, I guess we'll call it, with the FBI at a Hardee's drive through on Tuesday evening, Mike Lindell took to his Lindell TV website to make it very clear to the world that he is not going to comply with the FBI's requests. Now, as of this point, you know, by the time he recorded this video, he had obviously already given his cell phone to the FBI. He didn't have uh, much choice there because his lawyer who he called before he handed the phone over said, you need to give him your phone, bud. But anyway, as part of that FBI order, they also said, by the way, you're not allowed to talk about all of this. Okay. Because if you do, it's going to harm the ongoing investigation. So Lindell says to hell with it, gets on Lindell TV and puts out this video explicitly saying that he's going to break the rules the FBI put in place for him. Here he is. FBI, uh, you're going to hear this and you're probably already hearing it in the news. The FBI came after me and took my phone. They surrounded me at a Hardee's and uh, took my phone. I run all my business, everything with, um, um, they could have just, what we've done is weaponize the FBI. Um, it's disgusting. I don't have a computer. Everything I do have that phone, everything was on there. And, uh, um, and they told me not to tell anybody. Here's an order not to, don't tell anybody. Okay. I won't. <laughs> well, I am. So now ordinarily a confession like that, like, Hey, the law told me that I can't do a thing, but I'm going to go ahead and do a thing. Um, would land any one of us in trouble, right? The FBI would have immediately been knocking on your door. Like, Hey, um, you kind of just admitted very publicly that you're going to break the rules. So guess what? We got a free pair of handcuffs for you. Yay. Congratulations. But they're not going to do that because apparently that order from the FBI to not say anything about the case was not actually a legally binding order. Like somehow, some way an order from a law enforcement agency wasn't actually legally binding. Um, okay. Maybe that can be challenged in court because I'm pretty sure if they basically put a gag order on you when you're involved in an investigation and then you talk about it, that's, you know, 99% of the time, a prosecutable offense. And there's lots of different ways to prosecute that, right? Obstruction of justice, uh, witness tampering, jury tampering, all kinds of things that go along with talking about something when you're ordered not to talk about it. But honestly, that may be the least of Mike Lindell's legal problems because thanks to him being a loud mouth and showing us the documents that the, that the FBI gave me here, um, he showed us that, yeah, he's in, he's in deep, deep, deep trouble. <laughs> Let me read what was in those documents from the FBI. There's a lot of legalese in here. So bear with me. Um, so all records and information on the Lindell cell phone that constitute fruits, evidence, or instrumentalities of violations of 18 U S code 128, um, identity theft, intentional damage to protected computer and or 311 conspiracy to cufflink identity theft and or to cause intentional damage to a protected computer. The subject offenses, those violations involving Tina Peters, Conan James Hayes, Belinda uh, Neasley, Sandra Brown, Sharona Bishop, Michael Lindell, and or Douglas Frank, among other co-conspirators known and unknown to the government since November 1st, 2020. And then it goes on to say all records and information relating to damage to any dominion computerized voting system, including any impairment to, or attempt to impair the integrity or availability of data, a program, a system, or information. It goes on and on and on. Basically, if you made any copies of anything, if you have any of those copies on anything of anything, if your cell phone contains any data or communications about these things, if we find any malware on your phone, that will allow somebody else, an outside party to control your phone. Those are the things they're looking for to find out Mike Lindell's involvement, how deeply he was involved with Tina Peters, the former Mesa County uh, elections clerk, who of course last week pleaded not guilty to 10 different uh, felony and misdemeanor charges. But there was a phrase that I just read that I hope everybody was paying attention to co-conspirator. 
co-conspirator. They got Lindell as a co-conspirator to the potential crimes, because you got to say potential because she hasn't been uh, convicted, of Tina Peters. That's jail time. That's real jail time. Like Mike Lindell, <clears throat> he's going on Steve Bannon's show already. He's put out numerous different videos in addition to the one I just showed you. He's not shutting up about this. He's trying to make himself, uh, you know, portray himself, I guess, as the victim. Trump came out, as I mentioned earlier today, defended the guy, said, oh, the majesty of America's gone. But Lindell looks like he could be facing some very serious criminal charges that are going to put him behind bars for many years now. At least on the surface, that's what this complaint looks like. And I've gone through, I've read the rest of it here. I got tons of pages of it. This is bad. Like this is real criminal activity that they believe Mike Lindell was involved in as well as Tina Peters. So what happens now? Well, I'm glad you asked because I also, if you noticed, I read a big old list of names, right? That was a lot of people involved, people whose names we've never heard before. In addition to Tina Peters and Mike Lindell. So if the other individuals also listed by the FBI here have gotten a visit from the FBI, it's time to play. Let's make a deal. And that is of course, eventually what's going to happen. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of charges. And the more people you have involved, the more likely it is you can put pressure on one or maybe even two of them to flip on all the others. So I know Lindell is out there saying, I'm not going to comply. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be the big, strong man and challenge it all the way. Fantastic, buddy. But I hope you understand that a lot of your other friends who do not have the resources that you have are in trouble too. And those are the ones who do not have the money to fight this, who do not have the support of Donald Trump behind him, the money to hire good lawyers. Those people are going to be playing. Let's make a deal very soon. And that's not going to end well for you or Tina Peters at all. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.